is product classification. So basically, the product classification is the process of classifying all the products which are available in our business. That means you may have the doubt, how can you classify? So product classification will be done the based on the the different codes, different numbers which we receive from the government agencies or no external data providers. That means when you are working for the GTS as part of GTS implementation, as part of GTS support project, you may be getting some inputs from the external data providers and also sometimes it is from the government agencies. Whenever you receive any data like export control classification numbers, import control classification numbers, commodity codes. So whatever the data you receive from the different people, you need to upload the data to the SAP GTS. So the upload can be happened in two ways. That is like one thing can be done, one upload process can be done. You will be saving the data in the desktop and you will be getting uploading the data from the desktop. But whether the second style, the second style of approach is the data will be saving in application server. You know AL11? AL11, application server or SAP directories. Think that you know like application server or AL11, SAP directories? No, one okay. Okay. Um, okay. So basically what happens, the data providers, government agencies are the data providers, if, if they are able to access your SAP system, they will be sending the file automatically and that file will be placed into the application directories or SAP directories. So from there, SAP GTS has the capability to download and uh, enter the details in the system. Once the data is available in the system, as part of second step, you can assign those numbers, import control classification numbers or export control classification numbers to the products which you are dealing in our business. That is the product classification. As a first part, you need to get the data from the data providers and the second part, you need to assign those numbers to the products which you are dealing, which you are working in the pro like, you know, in your business. As part of third step, you need to do the reclassification. That is, that is about the product classification and the next thing is transit procedure or the transit presentation. So in general what happens as part of the transit presentation, the transit process, so you are not giving any declarations at country of departure, instead of that you will be doing declarations at country of the destination. So to deal this process in SAP GPS, we have like you know transit presentation or the transit process which will be supporting this kind of process. The process where you will not be declaring the export declarations or import declarations at country of departure, but you will be doing declarations at the country of destination. If you have this business process in our system, in your business, then you can apply transit process or the transit presentation to deal with this process. And the next thing is trade document service or electronic communication. So basically the trade document service will be taking care of all the required documents. So when you are doing importing or exporting, there are certain documents, there are certain documents which you need to present to the customs authorities. Those documents should be like uh, certificate of origin, certificate of insurance, packing list, certificate of manufacturer, commercial invoice, offer sheet. These are the couple of the documents which you can present. So SAP GTS is having the capability to upload to download all the documents from the system and and present and make available in document outputs. In document output of custom declaration document or the or import declaration documents or export declaration document. So at the same time, the trade document service will help you to communicate electronically with the customs authorities and also the trade document service can also will be taking care of receiving the data from the customs offices electronically. And the final process is customs processing. As part of customs processing, we will be dealing with the two kind of thing that is creating the customs declaration document, that is export declaration document, or creating the customs import declaration document, and creating the customs 
import shipment and creating the customs export shipments and apart from this you can also deal with customs duty calculation for the exports, customs duty calculation for the imports. These are the six areas that is customs export declaration, customs import declaration, customs export shipment, customs import shipment and uh, customs duty calculation for exports and customs duty calculation for imports. All these six areas we will be discussing as part of the customs processing. So these are the four, four main areas which are part of SAP customs management. Any doubts at this moment? No, go ahead. And the risk management is dealing with three things like preference processing, letter of credit and restitution. Basically the preference processing will be dealing, will be taking care of uh, whenever like you know, uh, the, uh, even before I discuss about it, uh, preference processing will be considered while you are doing the business within the trade agreement areas like uh, uh, there is a trade agreement zone, uh, NAFTA between Canada, US and Mexico. So whenever like a US company is receiving raw materials, is receiving some kind of parts from the country Canada which is part of trade zone, then you will be having some preferences. So to get that preference what you need to do, you need to create some vendor declarations. You need to request the vendor to give the long term declarations and once you receive the declaration, that declaration will be presented to the customs authorities to get the preference. Since you are importing your raw materials within the preferred zone, you are not going somewhere and getting the raw materials. You are, since there is a zone between the three countries, you are interested, you are giving the preference. That means you are giving value, importance to the preference zone and getting the raw materials from the suppliers and from the vendors who are located in the same trade zone. So due to the reason you are interested in getting the raw materials from the trade zone companies, trade zone countries companies, you will be getting some preference. That preference will be calculated by the preference processing of the risk management. Uh, and also letter of credit, as you know that letter of credit is a, like you know, a guarantee document which is issued to the customer on behalf of the, so which is issued to the exporter on behalf of the importer by a bank. So that process will be taken care by the SAP GTS with the automation. SAP GTS risk management's letter of credit will be taking care of all these financial risks. It can make sure that you know you can create a letter of credit document automatically when you receive the information from the bank. That means when the that means when you receive a notification from the bank then what automatically you can create a letter of credit in the system. And finally, restitution is the area which will be comes to the picture whenever you are exporting a product related to the agricultural, agricultural. That means if any product is being exported, if any pro product is being exported to like an exported or imported which is related to agricultural, agriculture, then you will be getting some kind of refund you will be getting some kind of benefit or discount. So that discount calculation or refund calculation or the discount calculation can be done by the restitution functionality of the risk management. So risk management will be taking care of reference processing, letter of credit and restitution. And final thing is electronic compliance reporting. Electronic compliance reporting helps to record all you know statistical data. It records all your export data, it records all your import data. So once the data is available in the system, you can create a declaration that you can create an intrastate declaration and send those declarations to the custom authorities as part of like you know uh, monitoring purpose because the custom authority is always interested to know what are the outgoing uh, exports happening between these two countries, what are the import transactions happening between the two countries. That's why you need a system that is, that is a DTS system which can support, which can send a declaration to the customs authorities automatically based on you know the configuration settings which you did in the 
system. So this is basically like you know, the third area, electronic compliance reporting. Especially as part of the electronic compliance report, we can send you know all the shipments which your company receives from the like you know factory called ABC. At the same time, you can you can find out the shipments that you were you, that you send to the country called ABC from your side. So once you say get the data, you can declare intrastat declarations, which are nothing but statistical declarations. Especially this process will come to the picture for European Union. It may not be necessary for all other other areas, other other countries. You can you can ask me Ankit uh, about. Not no doctor. As you know that since you are already working on the complex management, I think you are aware of function portal screening, embargo check and license determination. So which company you are, you are working for the end client or you are working for the uh, consulting company? Yeah, I think for, uh, for company only, not direct. Okay, you are looking for like a you know, company like TCS or Infosys kind of thing, right? Yeah. But there you get a chance to work on the SAP GTS? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. For the client. Mm -hmm. So, anything else? No, uh, as of now it's okay. Uh, is, uh, is there any other students are also available? Or I am a, I am one. Uh, I, I did not get you. Uh, is there anybody in the uh, session now or? No, no. Uh, for, uh, for this session, you are the only one. Okay, okay, then that. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, so if you can brief me like how the the on the training process like. The, what are the things that you are going to do? Uh, okay. So first of all, as part of the training session, uh, I will be giving explanation, theoretical explanation to each area. Okay. So which I am getting from the version 10.1. Okay. 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 And the theoretical explanation will, will be given in the cl class from the 10.1 okay. version. And once okay. I finish the theoretical explanation. Uh, if I take one hour session for the theoretical session and uh, the next day I will be explaining the configuration settings related to that part, that theoretical part. For example, assuming that I explain product classification. Then I will be showing all the different functionalities available for the product classification in SAP, area menu. Uh, yeah. If you if you don't mind, like for example, let us take the compliance, uh, like the license determination. Okay. Yes, you just if for example, if I finish, if I finish, yeah, sanction party screening, then I will be explaining yeah. all the functionalities in sanction party screening, like uh, <coughs> sanction party screening simulation, sanction party screening for the business partners, sanction party screening for the you know document partners <coughs> and doing the sanction part in the screening when the document partners are changed and doing the sanction part in the screening when the business partners are changed and doing the sanction part in the screening when the sanction part in the history is changed. So all those things I will be taking to the like I will be going through the SAP area menu screens and I will explain each and every option, each and every like area. Um, That way it works. And also I can show you what are the, all the display blocked documents or the display blocked part, the, the mean display blocked partners and I can show you how to release the blocked partners and how to release the blocked documents. Okay? And also I, I will show you 
how to upload the sanction party list to the system and okay. also I can okay. show you like a, a sanction party list uh, uh, th these are the different areas uh, we have yeah yeah right right Fine. Uh, I am convinced of things, but uh, uh, yeah, anything that you can say, you can, you can tell about the, all the process and the... So the, this is like over here, like and I hope you are already aware of it. Uh, I think uh, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it may be repetitive for you. I, I remember. <laughs> so regarding that... Uh, mm, the server that you are going to be given or for, for, for me look and see that can I open it. Will which version you are you are you are showing to me? Huh? Show you like this is seven point two version. Yeah. Okay. So this is like uh, compliance management, customs management, risk management, and uh, electronic compliance reporting and the system administration. Okay. This is this is called the SAP area manager. Okay. One small question. I work in at uh, 10, 10.0. The screen is same, right? I think here, you know, or maybe like one or two fields will be changed, but everything is same other than that. Okay. Okay. And if I go to SPR, We have some general settings and we have complex management, embargo, sanction party list cleaning, label control, configuration settings and we have customs management, communication process and duty calculation and uh, transit presentation, customs processing, these things and under risk management, we have preference processing, letter of credit institution and the electronic compensation reporting, we have Order classification and cross tracks, special settings, import work list, and also as part of here as part of general settings, we have number ranges, organizational structure that is parented organization, legal unit, and the partner structure and legal regulations, and document structure, and member schemes. So this is about like uh, the feel of okay. SPI. You are, you are basically you are you are basically SD or which module you are? Uh, I started my career with SD module, but since the three years I have been working on SAP GPS. Okay, fine. 